All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Chella Saya, and I am a study abroad advisor at the University of Wisconsin Stout in the Office of International Education. We are sending all of you our very best wishes during this unusual time, but we're also looking forward to being able to see you again in person in the future. It may not seem like it, but now today is a good time to start considering your options to study abroad or study away as part of your education at UW-Stout. That way, when things do return to normal, or at least a new normal, and they will, you'll be able to take advantage of the many opportunities that are available to you. So with that, I'd like to take a few minutes to highlight a program that's been running very successfully for a number of years. And after I share some of those details of the program, I'm going to turn the floor over to two guests. We have Carissa and Isabella, um, who are both UW-Stout students who participated in the program I will be describing, and they are here today to share their experiences with you. Finally, I'd like to draw your attention to our website, uwstout.edu forward slash study abroad, where you can read more about this program as well as others, watch videos about how to finance your experience among other topics, and also follow a link to book an appointment with a study abroad advisor to discuss your individual situation and needs. So let's jump in. The Fashion and Retail Study Tour in New York City. Um, this program, you'll go behind the scenes to see new designs being created, hear from thought leaders in fashion and retailing industries, and experience the cultural richness of New York City that makes it a center for fashion startups and innovation. You will participate in the National Retail Federation's student program, where industry executives in marketing, entrepreneurship, supply chain technology, and more share their success stories as well as their lessons learned. You'll experience the NRF Big Show's Innovation Lab and Expo, where the latest applications in artificial intelligence, augmented reality, machine learning, facial recognition, robotics, and more are shared by visionary companies from around the globe that are offering the latest developments in retail's tech transformation. You also explore, explore various career paths in the retail industry and meet with recruiters from more than 25 of your favorite brands to learn about internships as well as full-time positions at the career fair. Not only that, you'll also experience a Broadway play, tour the Garment District, see a museum exhibition of historic fashions, visit fashion-related retailers, and still have free time to see the sights and enjoy the energy of Manhattan. You'll spend seven days in the Big Apple from January 12th through the 18th. However, you should expect to complete coursework both before and after the trip from January 4th through the 23rd. So win term 2021. It is a one credit course led by Dr. Kathleen Cochran for students who have a cumulative GPA of 2.0 or above and who have completed at least one semester at UW-Stout. Finally, you may be wondering about the cost. The program fee is $2,150, which includes tuition and fees, airfare, local transportation, accommodation, cultural events, and some meals. However, you should also budget about $600 for out-of-pocket expenses, such as meals on your own, personal expenses, airline baggage fees, etc. So the total cost is likely to be $2,750. Finally, remember that we have um, a great section on our website called Finances to look at how you can finance a study away experience like this one, from financial aid and loans to scholarships and crowdfunding sites. So check out our website at uwstout.edu forward slash study abroad. So uh, now that you've had a chance to hear about the program from me, I'm so happy for you to hear from two students who actually went to New York on this program. While I ask them questions, I'll be sharing some photos that they took while on the program. So to start off, Carissa, what would you say, um, you know, was the best part of the experience? Well, I'd like to say that my favorite part would be 
definitely meeting with all the recruiters. Um, I thought that was like the most beneficial for me too. I am a very sociable person. So I do like to kind of get around and get to know different companies and stuff and talk with other people and get to know a little more about their company and themselves and how they got the position there in like today. So that was like really, really enjoyable for me. Um, also, I would say that like going to the Broadway play was not my kind of thing to do at first. Like when I, when I heard that we we're going to go to one, I was like, oh, I don't know if I really am into this. But when I went, oh my gosh, that was the best thing on earth. Um, I would suggest for like anyone and everyone, if you go to New York, you need to go to one. We went to Mean Girls. So that was like the all time best thing on earth. So um, yeah, I would say just the Broadway play and the meeting with all the different recruiters for sure were my big highlights. I also was surprised at how much I loved Broadway. <laughs> Um, Isabella, what would you say was your uh, the best part of the experience for you? I would say the best part of the experience was to have access to uh, the senior leaders across the retail industry and to hear firsthand how they built their careers, including the best practices for success and learning opportunities. Um, I came home from the NRF with multiple internship opportunities and connections, which will serve me well when I move to New York post-graduation. I spent the summer um, prior to senior year living in New York, actually. I worked in the heart of the city for Ross Dress for Less out in their corporate office and now have accepted a full-time offer as a planning analyst there. Wow, congratulations, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, maybe to take a step back even, what would you say, Carissa, what led you to choose the program in the first place? So I always planned um, since freshman year that I would end up going to New York. I've never been to New York until this past January when I did go on the trip. Um, but I remember going to a meeting about this New York trip as a freshman and right away I was interested in it and I told my parents hey like I want to go to New York my junior year so um we kind of like planned that out that I was going to go my junior year but I ended up going my senior year because of financial reasons which I'm sure you'll get into but um yeah I just kind of always had in mind that I wanted to go to New York not just for like a individual trip like I would I don't think I would go there on my own just out of nowhere I wanted to go like as a class, like I wanted to get like a full like experience, hands on meeting with all these different companies and people. So um, just to kind of get my foot in the door a bit and then get recognized by other companies. So um, I thought that was um, that was in my mindset the whole time. So like I said, I knew for three years that I was going to go to New York as a group. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I found out, just going to different meetings and stuff. Well, that's great because we definitely really encourage students to, as much as possible, start thinking about it early on to kind of see where is the best time to fit it in. You know, if it's a, a program that could be a gen ed, to think about, you know, which course you'd want to use uh, as a gen ed, I and mean, also a study away program. So that's great to hear that you, you were doing that. Um, Isabella, how about you? Um, when again did you go and how did you come about, you know, choosing this program? So same as Carissa, as a freshman, I had heard about um, the New York trip from Dr. Cochran in the intro class and it kind of had been reiterated across all of my classes. I attended the student program though, however, the winter of 2019 in my junior year of college. I knew that this would be a once in a lifetime learning opportunity and experience to explore New York and to build a network that I could leverage for internship opportunities and full-time employment after college. So I felt like it was best to go on the trip um, my junior year and I felt that I learned a lot and I always knew as a freshman that I wanted to go to New York City on this trip. Oh great. Um, I'll stay with you Isabella for a moment more. Um, I know Carissa had mentioned that she was surprised at how much she enjoyed um, going to Broadway. What was your favorite place that you visited on the program? Maybe that wasn't necessarily academic. Um, so yeah, in addition to attending all the conferences and networking and just exploring the city, 
which included my first play when I went was um, My Fair Lady and going to Central Park along with the company visits. A highlight for me was visiting the fashion district. It was great to see the first hand like learning experience and learning all the history, especially from learning about it in the classroom at Stout. And for a retail major, I'd say that this was definitely a must see for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Carissa, um, I know that for a number of students, um, going on a program like this might mean their first time on a plane or their first time outside the Midwest. Uh, was that your experience? And if so, what would it, your advice be for other Stout students? No, that actually wasn't my first experience. I've always been in the traveling. I've traveled since I was a little girl. So um, this was nothing new to me for traveling. It was very easy for me. Um, I guess like the most difficult part though was how big of a city I was actually going to. I think New York was like the biggest city that I've ever been to while traveling. So that was a little bit different, like a little bit of a shock for me. But um, other than that, like that was, the traveling was fine. Um, very easy, very smooth. So no one has anything to worry about. But uh, my advice to others would just be, um, you know, just, just have an open mind, I guess. Um, you got to have an open mind. If you're afraid of flying, don't be. I promise you that it is the best experience ever. I love flying anywhere and everywhere I can. So um, there's nothing to be scared about. Just have an open mind. You're going there for a good reason. So just have fun doing it. Yeah. How about you, Isabella? Um, I would say, you know, I highly recommend taking advantage of opportunities to participate in these real life and hands on learning experiences. Um, I gained a lot of experience as I learned more about what different employment opportunities I had to offer going to New York and a lot about myself, too, as I shifted my desire to follow the buying path and to focus on planning instead after um, going to the student program. So I would just say take advantage and take the risk and go because it really pays off in the end and you really get to learn a lot about yourself and about the city of New York and the retail industry. Um, maybe if I can ask you sort of a follow up question, you know, on the topic of paying off. Um, I know that for many students, you know, cost is the real concern and they feel like they maybe can't afford a program like this. Do you have any tips that you can share? Yeah, I would just encourage them to think about the outcomes and the values that are associated with the cost of the opportunities that they are considering. In this case, the value that came for me far outweighed the cost. I developed so many connections, both personal and, con and professional, that positioned me to have more choices that I could have ever dreamt of for internships. And to me, there is no cost that can be associated with benefit really. I would suggest to any incoming freshman in the program to start planning ahead and saving to attend their junior year. This was by far one of the highlights of my time at Stout. Oh, that's great. How about you, Carissa? So going along with Bella, yes, like this is a once in a lifetime type of um, deal. So you have only have four years in college or possibly a year more or whatever, but, um, yeah, definitely take advantage of it. It's It will pay off in the long run for sure. Um, I guess my personal experience being a freshman and seeing how much the trip would cost, it seemed like a lot to me. But then after kind of taking a couple of years off and going through it, cracking it all down, I was like, wow, you know what? I could end up like working for one of these companies that I talked to. And honestly, yes, like what Bella said, that is what really matters that's when the whole trip just pays off because if you would have never went there then who knows if you would have had that job or that offer that interview even if you just had an interview and not a job offer that is so beneficial for you um i know i had one just kind of just a brief one with nordstrom's and that made me so happy for me to just be able to talk to them and though i may not have gotten a job offer it was just like the best experience ever. And that made me so happy that all that money went towards something like that and went towards the NRF foundation. Um, but yeah, it's just a lifetime experience that you'll never get another chance to do while you're in college. Yeah, absolutely. The more interviews you can get under the belt, you're belt, the, the better off, um, the better you're gonna be each and every time. 
Um, maybe if you could share, Chris, as well, any sort of funny or meaningful experience that you'd be willing to share at a more personal level from the trip. Right. So um, I guess for me, I've never been on a subway before, so that was very new to me. And um, actually, me and two other girls ended up kind of getting separated from the group with Dr. Cochran. So um, she was kind of pounding on the window on the subway, yelling like, go to, you know, the spot number 23 or whatever. So we're like, okay, she said two, three. So we got to go up there for the next subway. And we got on there and we went the totally wrong direction. And we are on the train for probably a good hour. And <laughs> we are trying to get in top contact with her, but there's no service on in the subway. So that was a little difficult. So we had a couple um bumps there where we got lost in the subway which was scary and but it we made the best of it it was so much fun we just kind of joked about it while we were on the subway like oh where the heck are we going but then after that we realized okay well maybe you should share our location with dr cochran and some <laughs> other students just in case because we didn't know where we were going so we ended up taking like an uber back too so um it all worked out it was it was a great experience honestly lots of fun I swear, I think uh, public transportation stories for me also. Anytime I figure out public transportation, having grown up in this area, I just feel like I'm so proud of my, myself even to this day. Um, so that's cool. Um, how about you, Bella? So for me, I would say, yeah, the first time I went on the subway alone when I was at the National Retail Federation student program, I definitely got lost. We went the wrong way and we're going towards the wrong part of town. Um, I was with a couple girls too, and we were just confused what to do. But finally, we went on the maps and figured out our way. And then another funny thing that happened to me was the day I went to Central Park, there was a dog running loose, and it was a stray dog. Um, and some guy thought it actually was my dog and it wasn't, but it was a dog walker who thought it was my dog and trying to help me get this dog. And we ended up saving the dog and he brought it to get, um, to check the microchip to find its owner. So I guess saving a stray dog was an interesting part of my time in Central Park. <laughs> that is very unusual. Wow. Um, all right. Well, I just want to thank you both so much for, for joining us. And um, also, I'm just, I'm excited to be able to share this video with, with everyone and other students at UW Stout. And I invite all other students who are interested in this program to learn more and apply at UW Stout forward slash study abroad. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.